Google just dropped Gemini 3, and I gave it this screenshot and asked it to recreate. Here's what I built. It absolutely nailed it. Benchmarks claim Gemini 3 now matches Sonnet 4.5 for coding, it actually beats it on things like multimodal tasks and screen understanding. So I ran three tests to see if that's actually true. Let's go. I'm inside cursor and now I see the new model, Gemini 3 Pro. And I like testing new coding models with tasks that are non-trivial, but still somewhat vague, giving the model space to show what it can do. The prompt that works really well for this is build a color picker component. We're not telling what technology to use. We're not giving any requirements. Just make it very vague and just see what it can do. First impressions, it's not blazingly fast, but it does seem to take a lot of breaks in between work to do thinking and planning the next moves. Okay, so I finished it up. First glance, I was thinking this is a bit basic. Maybe the one that Sonnet 4.5 did was way better. Then looking more closely at it, this is actually done much better for a few reasons. First, it built it like a true component. Like you see at the bottom here, this is just a demo app of this component. And it just gives the component state back as the color. And then when you go to change the color, it gives you this color picker. And I can go anywhere in the screen with this and then pick a color. I can go all the way into my desktop. This is off the screen that you can see, but you just select a color from my desktop, the green from a tree. The ones I built with the same prompt using Sonnet 4.5 and GPT-5, you have to actually upload a picture and then pick a color. This is much more adaptable. You can also change how you want it to display it. Like you can go RGB, HSL, X. Of all the models I've tested with the same prompt, this was the best one because it's given me a true reusable component with a lot of features built in. But next, I really want to test out Gemini 3's multimodal capabilities. And I'm really interested in if I could take a screenshot of a website, just reproduce it just from a screenshot. I'm at Dribbble, which is the most popular marketplace for UI designs. If I scroll through here, I'm gonna pick this one. I think this would be a good test. It's off angle a bit, but it's a pretty complicated UI. If I can get this one, that'd be pretty amazing. Let's take a screenshot of that and feed that to Gemini. Then I'll create a new project folder and cursor, and give it the prompt, reproduce this UI exactly and add test data. And then just paste in that screenshot. I'm giving Gemini 3 the bare minimum, just seeing how well it reproduces this. I clicked on that for a couple of minutes, but now it's done all the to-dos in its to-do list. It looks like it's created components for the different parts of the UI. And it's even refined the styling at the end. So let's see how it looks. This kind of blows me away. This is like almost an exact replica. If I look at the other tab that I had on Dribble, just down to all the details is exactly the same. Just taking the skewed, busy UI and just replicated everything perfectly. The only difference I can really see actually is the logo is a little bit different. You can see here. And the one it reproduced is a different logo. I mean, same kind of style, but a little bit different. But all the data is exactly the same. Even the images of the people almost look like the same people. I guess one of the difference I just noticed though, it put filters and export together and in the Dribble screenshot exports is up here and filters is down here. A few minor things like that, but this is a really good replica. This is the best I've ever seen an AI do. Those multimodal capabilities in the benchmarks we talked about, they're the real deal. I've done a bunch of videos and using AI models for OCR or optical character recognition to take text off documents, which can be very useful inside AI powered applications. I'm gonna take these two examples of bad handwriting and see if Gemini 3 Pro can actually figure them out. Just say make matching text files with the OCR results. And just looking through it, it looks like Gemini 3 has nailed this one too. And just little things like on line number eight here where it says a lot of life to live. The O is so tiny there, it's almost hard to figure out that's an O. But Gemini did figure it out, a lot of life to give. So from what I can see, it did everything perfectly. It even switched the asterisks here when it went from the numbers to the asterisks. Did that. And even the shadowy bit at the bottom, it nailed that as well. I think Gemini 3 is gonna be my new go-to model for OCR. As you can probably tell after just using Gemini 3 for about half an hour now, I'm pretty impressed with it. I think it's gonna be a big deal when they start integrating it into AI Studio and Gemini CLI. So I'll probably do videos on that in the days to come. I hope you're having an amazing day. I'll talk to you in the next one.